Wondering if your next pet should be a Golden Retriever or a Labrador Retriever? Find out what to expect from both breeds. Golden Retrievers and Labrador Retrievers are very similar breeds. At the same time, they're very different in many ways. They are good-natured and caring family puppies and are favoured around the world as one of the best house pets. On the other hand, they have different energy levels. Golden Retrievers tend to be more laid back than Labradors. Goldens need more grooming than Labradors. Goldens can also be a bit cheaper when buying a puppy. We would love it if you guys send pictures of your furry friends on the email listed in the description to get them featured on our channel. Whether you're here to decide which breed is right for you or just to learn more, we hope you find the information you're looking for. Age Labrador Retrievers have a lifespan of 10 to 12 years, the same as other large breeds. Some Labradors live shorter than this, but many dogs that are cared for live even longer. The oldest Labrador is 27 years old. Lifespan varies with genetic health, grooming and other factors. Having a Golden Retriever as part of your family means you want to do whatever it takes to keep your Golden Retriever healthy and happy. Golden Retrievers are estimated to live 10 to 12 years. However, with proper care, these active dogs can live to 13 years or more. Golden Retrievers are known to live well into their 20s under unusual circumstances. For this to happen, however, you must take the initiative to ensure adequate exercise, dietary requirements, and health care. This point gives Golden Retrievers a plus point here. Labs 0, Goldens 1. Health Labs are generally healthy dogs, and responsible breeders screen breeding stock for conditions such as elbow and hip dysplasia, heart disease, hereditary myopathy, and eye diseases such as progressive retinal atrophy. In some young adult Labradors, a condition called exercise-induced collapse can occur. DNA testing allows breeders to identify carriers and plan breeding to avoid developing the disease. Conditions may develop. Owners should educate themselves about the symptoms that indicate it and what to do if it occurs. Goldens are generally healthy dogs, and responsible breeders will screen their breeding stock for health conditions including elbow and hip dysplasia, eye conditions such as juvenile cataract, pageantry uveitis, and progressive retinal atrophy. And certain heart diseases too, including subvalvular aortic stenosis. The Goldens' ears should be checked weekly for signs of infection, and the teeth should be brushed often. Coat Care we all want our dogs to look, feel, and smell good, but it takes effort to keep that coat shiny. Labradors have a double coat, so they shed mainly twice a year, usually in spring and before winter when their coats change. Ideally, your Labrador should be brushed at least once a week to improve shedding. Your dog can probably get away with a bath every month or two, unless he likes manure or other weird-smelling contraptions. Be sure to use dog shampoo as it makes them less susceptible to bugs. Coat grooming is very important to the health of all dogs, especially Golden Retrievers, and knowing about a Golden Retriever's coat can make grooming much easier. Brushing is one of the best things you can do for your puppy. The sooner you start brushing, the sooner your Golden will get used to brushing as a regular routine. Use a soft brush for puppies, then gradually switch to a bristle comb or brush for adult dogs. Small burrs, twigs and leaves can get caught in the fur of long-haired dogs. These can get caught in the fur and cause a carpet of hair that can be difficult to remove. Bathing more often can also help your dog during peak season. Be sure to use a shampoo specifically formulated for dogs unless your veterinarian tells you otherwise. Comparatively, Labrador's coat care is much easier than Golden's, taking away this point from Golden, so we've got 1-1 one, one for each. Family Friendly Labradors can be the perfect family pet as they're loyal companions, babysitters, and best friends. They're very patient and show no signs of aggression unless provoked. Their loud barks make them good watchdogs and guardians. Because of their extreme playfulness and zest for life, Labradors need a nice backyard where they can roam and play freely. Love, requiring attention and lots of walking, it could be a great attention to an active and growing family. For active families, Golden Retrievers are a great choice of dog breed. While they do require exercise, they're more than happy with two walks a day, the occasional run, and regular games of fetch. Having lots of toys is important to prevent them from chewing on undesired objects. These dogs have a reputation for being friendly with everyone. While they do bark, it's more welcoming than scary. Your Golden is more likely to help a burglar into your house than they are to chase them off. Golden Retrievers have a lot of qualities that make them good family dogs. 
Here, the deciding factor is that Goldens need a lot of love and care that might not be possible all the time. So again, Labrador takes the point. Two to one. Intelligence In addition to being very obedient dogs, Labradors are also highly intelligent in other aspects of canine intelligence. Find out why the Labrador Retriever is the smartest dog breed in the world. Retrievers are so highly trained that they are great at search and rescue, location and treatment tasks. These breeds of dogs have a very high ability to adapt to the environment and situations. With the help of their intelligence, they solve the situation very quickly. The Golden Retriever is a smart, friendly and devoted sporting dog. Golden takes his job to heart and strives to be the best at what he does, whether it's hunting, guide dogs, search and rescue or just being a loving companion. Along with high obedience and a working IQ, the Golden Retriever also has an excellent instinct for searching. This is a special type of intelligence that few dogs, including Golden Retrievers, possess. But because they're good at understanding and learning human emotions, they also have good adaptive IQs. Both breeds are among the smartest of all breeds, but here the Goldens easily beat the Labs, making it 2-2. Two, two. Behavior with other dogs Labradors are generally easygoing and safe around other dogs, so they often make great companions for other dogs. Anyone who's lived with a Labrador Retriever knows that they can be ideal partners for almost any type of family. They communicate well with dogs. Goldens are very happy-go-lucky dogs and they get along with most other dogs regardless of breeds. You may want a similar-sized dog so they can play doggy style, rough, jumping on each other and running together. They'll have a fenced area where your dog can meet some new friends in a neutral area. If you decide a second dog is too much, try bringing him to a dog park to socialize with other dogs. Golden's behavior basically depends on their upbringing they had whether they were socialized with other dogs or not, so the point here should go to Labrador. 3-2 Energy Level The Labrador Retriever is a lively and energetic dog breed that needs a lot of exercise every day. Labs that don't get enough exercise may engage in hyperactive and or destructive behaviors to release stagnant energy. Favorite pastimes of this breed are fetching and swimming. In the lab, he also loves spending energy on hunting trips and field trials, and participating in dog sports such as agility, obedience, tracking, and dock diving. Many Labradors are also committed to important roles such as search and rescue, drug and bomb detection, and service dogs. Like most athletic dog breeds, Goldens need plenty of daily exercise. Goldens who don't get enough exercise can exhibit undesirable behaviors. Goldens make great companions for long runs and cycling, but we recommend consulting with your veterinarian before engaging in strenuous activities that may strain your dog's bones and joints. Golden dogs enjoy training on hunting trips and field trials and participate in canine sports such as agility, obedience and tracking. So if we compare both in this feature, Labrador performs better. 4-2 Vigilance Although not naturally protective, Labradors are incredibly loyal. This can be motivating enough to give your puppy all the training necessary to be an efficient guard dog. On the other hand, Goldens are not good guard dogs. Guard dogs are working dogs that undergo highly specialized training for security, law enforcement and military purposes. The Golden Retriever's calm, friendly and non-aggressive nature makes it a better companion dog. So again, Labrador takes the point with 5 to 2. Affection Labradors are an affectionate, people-loving dog breed, so it's no wonder these dogs make some of the best cuddly friends in the world. They're known for curling up in your lap like a lapdog, only six times their size, and snuggling up to you with their adorable sweet faces. There is nothing that can heal your heart like that. It's as good as a therapy session, and much cheaper. Golden Retrievers are a friendly and affectionate breed that are always looking for ways to please their owners. They're also easy to train, love to attract and receive attention, and are perfect for any family. But do Golden Retrievers like cuddles? Golden Retrievers love cuddles. By cuddling, Golden Retrievers show their love for their owners. However, some Goldens may be more cuddly than others. Goldens may even enjoy cuddling with other pets. So, Goldens being more compassionate than Labs here takes the point. Five to three. Golden Retrievers and Labrador Retrievers are very similar breeds. At the same time, they're very different in many ways. They're good-natured and caring family puppies and are favored around the world as one of the best house pets. But here, in this video, Labrador takes the lead. With this, we end the video.
We hope you find it informative. Do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like and share with your friends.